Hey, sorry. What's the matter? I see you're worried. Do you know what all those lines are for? <laughs> you don't? They're the subtraction symbol. The minus sign. Do you know how to subtract? <laughs> don't worry, sorry. I'll teach you how. Whoa! These cupcakes look awesome, sorry. What is it? Are you hungry? Come on, don't be shy. Have one. In one bite? You're never full, sorry. Do you know you've just done a subtraction without realizing it? We subtract to know how many things we have left after taking away some of them, just like you did with these cupcakes. For example, before, there were three cupcakes on the table, and you've eaten one. So, if we take one away from three, there will be one and two cupcakes left. Three minus one equals two. Well done! We have done our first subtraction. See how easy it was? Yum, yum! These cupcakes are mouth-watering. But wait! Sorry! You've subtracted again without realizing. How many are there left this time? There were five cupcakes and you've eaten three. So if we take away three from five, there will be one and two cupcakes left. Two! Five minus three equals two. Awesome! Are you still hungry? There's nothing we can do with you, sorry, is there? On the table, there were seven cupcakes, and you've eaten four of them. If we take away four from seven, one, two, three, and four, the result is one, two, and three. Three! Seven minus four equals three. Good job, sorry. Do you like subtracting? I told you, sorry, there were too many cupcakes. Well, let's recap the subtractions we practiced today, all right? We can also do horizontal subtractions. It's done in the same way. Pay attention. Three minus one equals one and two. Three minus one equals two. Awesome. Let's do the next one. If I take away the three cupcakes from these five cupcakes, one, two, and three, I will be left with one and two cupcakes. Five minus three equals two. Excellent, sorry. Shall we try the last one? If I take away the four cupcakes from these seven cupcakes, one, two, three, and four, I will be left with one, two, and three. Seven minus four equals three. Well done, sorry. Now you know how to subtract. Are you feeling better, sorry? <laughs> my, my, there's nothing we can do with you, sorry. Hi, everyone. This theme park is just awesome. Are you having a good time? Oopsie, your balloon just bursted. <laughs> Shall we go get you another one? What are you playing? You've got perfect aim. That's a great way to learn how to do subtractions. Would you like to practice for a while? Let's find out how good my aim is. There are one, two, and three balloons and I'm going to see if I can burst one of them. The subtraction we need to do is three minus one. This means there are three balloons and I have to burst one. I'm going to aim well to see how many I'll have left. Fantastic, I aimed well. Let's see how many there are now. One and two. There are two balloons left. The result of subtracting three from one equals two. My aim is truly good. <laughs> Some balloons are flying away. There are one, two, three, and four balloons. 
and I'm going to try to aim at two of them. How many balloons will there be left? We need to subtract four minus two. This means that out of four balloons, we need to take away two. I'm going to aim well to see how many I'll have left. One and two. Yes. Let's see how many balloons we've got left. One and two. There are two balloons left. The result of subtracting four from two is two. I'm so good at shooting the slingshot. <laughs> You've let more balloons fly away. There are one, two, three, four, and five balloons. How many will there be left if I aim at two of them? The subtraction we need to do is five minus two. I'll aim at two out of five balloons. What will the result be? One and two. Amazing! Let's see how many we've got left. One, two, and three. We've got three balloons left. The result of subtracting five from two is three. I love playing with my slingshot. <laughs> You've let more balloons fly away. There are one, two, three, four, five, and six balloons. How many will there be if I aim at three of them? The subtraction we need to do is six minus three. Out of six balloons, I'll aim at three. What will the result be? One, two, and three. Yes! Let's see how many I've got left. One, two, and three. There are three balloons left. Six minus three equals three. Doing subtractions is great fun. <laughs> You've let more balloons fly away. There are one, two, three, four, five, and six balloons. How many will there be if I aim at four of them? The subtraction we need to do is six minus four. Out of six balloons, I'll aim at four. What will the result be? One, two, three, and four. Swell! Let's see how many we've got left. We've got one and two balloons left. Six minus four equals two. I love doing subtractions. You've run out of balloons, friends. Well, at least you've learned how to do subtractions and you still have all that yummy cotton candy. <laughs> my, my, you're never full. Hi there, Sori. I see you're having a blast. It just occurred to me that this is a great game to practice subtractions. I see you're really good at it. Here's a challenge for you. Are you up for it? Awesome! This challenge is all about hitting the number of cans I'll be asking you to. Shall we give it a go? Let's start with something easy to warm up. There are six cans, and I want you to hit four of them. If you made it, how many cans would there be left? Time to subtract! You've got it, right? Go for it, Sori! Way to go! You've hit all four cans! If there were six cans before and Sori hit four of them, now there are one and two cans left. The result of the subtraction problem, six minus four, would be two. Let's carry on. There are eight cans. How many will be left if you hit three of them? Go ahead and do the subtraction. You've got it, right? It's your turn to hit the can, Sori. Wow, well done. If there were eight cans before, 
and Sori hit three of them. Now there are one, two, three, four, and five cans. The result of the subtraction problem, eight minus three, would be five. Let's do some more. This will get a little bit more complicated. There are 11 cans now. Try to hit five of them. How many will you have left? Let's subtract. Ready? Throw that bone, Sori. Nice shot. If there were 11 cans before and you hit five of them, now there are one, two, three, four, five, and six cans left. The result of the subtraction problem, 11 minus five, would be six. Come on, we're almost there. There are lots of cans, 13 of them. You'll have to hit nine, could you? Let's subtract. Ready? Let's see how good your aim is. Fantastic! You are truly good at this. If there were 13 cans before, and you hit nine of them, now there are one, two, three, and four cans left. The result of the subtraction problem 13 minus 9 would be 4. Let's do one last try. This won't be an easy one. There are 15 cans. Try to hit 14. Let's subtract. You've got it right. Last throw. That's a tough challenge. Incredible! You're such an expert, Sori. If there were 15 cans before, and you hit 14 of them, now there's just one can left. The result of the subtraction problem, 15 minus 14, is 1. Your aim is awesome, Sori! You've won so many prizes, Sori! Congratulations! Subtracting is great fun! Ouch! That must have hurt! <laughs> Do you want to keep on learning? Try for free our Smile and Learn platform for a month and enjoy all of our games, videos, and interactive stories. Go for it! Download Smile and Learn on your mobile, tablet, or PC.